When you think of the history of sports video games, what games instantly come to mind? Which games do you consider to be all-time classics? I personally think of games such as ESPN NFL 2K5, my all-time favorite sports game, as well as other great titles such as MVP Baseball 05, NHL 94, NBA 2K11, NCAA Football 06, NASCAR Thunder 04, etc. But the most iconic, classic, and beloved sports video game of them all might just be Tecmo Super Bowl. Released in 1991, it has been about 30 years since the game came out, yet it still has an impact on pop culture. The game is 8 years older than me, yet it's still easy to pick up and play, and most importantly, it's still a ton of fun today. Unlike the early 3D era of sports games, the 2D era holds up very well today, thanks in part to a simple, timeless control scheme, easy to digest graphics, and that retro charm. It's clear that many modern games are inspired by this era, such as Retro Bowl, a mobile game I'll be covering soon. Of course, Tecmo Super Bowl was a massive hit when it first released, and was even referenced in popular TV shows. Bo Jackson, one of the most popular athletes in the world at the time, was a complete monster in this game, and even if you've never played a Tecmo Bowl game before, you probably already knew that. While Tecmo Super Bowl is the most popular Tecmo game, it wasn't the first. In 1987, Tecmo Bowl was released as an arcade game, and was later ported to the NES in 1989. While the arcade version only had fictitious teams and players, the NES port had real NFL players in the game, and of course, Bo Jackson. Despite not having an NFL license, Tecmo Bowl was, and still is, considered to be one of the greatest sports video games ever made. The game featured 12 teams based on real NFL teams with accurate rosters, and each team had different playbooks. While most teams had two passing plays and two running plays to choose from, San Francisco and Miami swapped a running play for a third passing play, mimicking the playstyle of the 49ers and Dolphins at the time. The arcade version of Tecmo Bowl actually released over six months before the first ever Madden game, John Madden Football. The first Madden title was also groundbreaking, but its creator, Trip Hawkins, focused more on simulating real football gameplay and concepts, while Tecmo focused more on creating an arcade-style game that was a bit more unrealistic. In 1989, Tecmo released a sequel to Tecmo Bowl, this time called Tecmo Super Bowl, thanks to the newly acquired NFL license. And one of the best and most influential video games of all time was born. The game initially released on the NES with all 28 real NFL teams and rosters at the time, with the exception of Jim Kelly, Randall Cunningham, and Bernie Kosar, who weren't part of the NFLPA's marketing contract. It's similar to how Bill Belichick isn't in modern Madden titles, because he is the only coach that isn't part of the NFL Coaches Association. Those three quarterbacks were replaced with generic versions of themselves. For example, Jim Kelly was simply named QB Bills. Nearly everyone else was in the game, however, making Tecmo Super Bowl the first and only NES game with real NFL teams and players. Compared to Tecmo Bowl, Super Bowl added expanded rosters, now up to 30 players per team, expanded playbooks, now with 8 plays on offense and defense, and stat tracking that included NFL records. In Tecmo Bowl, there were only 9 players on the field for offense and defense, but in Super Bowl, the game now mimicked the real NFL with 11 on 11 gameplay and even had six eligible offensive player substitutions, such as backup running backs or receivers. The full-length 1991 NFL season was included along with playoffs, the Super Bowl, and the Pro Bowl. New in-game features included the opening game coin toss, fumbles, five-minute quarters, timeouts, injuries, and expanded cutscenes, resulting in a vastly improved experience. The arcade-style gameplay was incredible. Pick a play, hike the ball, and find your way to the end zone. With really powerful players like Bo Jackson, you could outrun the defense and break numerous tackles. Think of Madden 04 Michael Vick, but even more overpowered. That was Bo Jackson in this game. You could probably spend an hour running in circles around the defense before getting tackled if you're skilled enough. There were three different ways to play the game. Man, where you selected plays and controlled your players. COA, a coach mode where you selected plays but the CPU controlled the players. And Calm where the CPU handled everything and you just watched. Between those modes, all 28 teams, and the season mode, for a 30-year-old game, it was actually pretty deep. It even had some features not seen in modern Madden games, such as the coin toss, and it had the Pro Bowl, a feature missing from Madden 13 through 19. Of course, the game didn't have a franchise mode or career mode or anything like that, but again, in 1991, 
This game was as deep, actually deeper, than expected. A sequel was released for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis in 1993, but it kept the exact same name, Tecmo Super Bowl. This version was also incredibly popular and aimed to be an improvement, but many hardcore fans of the series do prefer the NES version. The new release featured updated rosters, a dynasty mode, user-controlled touchbacks, new weather options such as sun, rain, and snow, the ability to block punts, the ability to change playbooks mid-game, and of course, upgraded graphics. On paper, it sounds like a massive upgrade, and to many it was, but it's not so simple when doing a direct comparison. Some additions to the SNES version weren't much of an upgrade. For example, plays are harder to read, the ability to change playbooks mid-game makes all teams kind of feel the same. Player ratings were tweaked so there was less of a gap between the slower and faster players resulting in less big plays, defense became faster, again resulting in less big plays, and the new Dynasty mode was simply Season mode, played over three seasons. Some NES features were also removed, such as the ability to dive at a player and knock them down after a big play. That said, the updated version had plenty of legit upgrades, so it really comes down to personal preference. If you want the classic big play original, play the NES version. If you want a slightly updated version that's a bit more realistic, play the SNES or Sega Genesis version. Both are fantastic games regardless. Two sequels were released on the 16-bit consoles, Tecmo Super Bowl II Special Edition and Tecmo Super Bowl III Final Edition. Two is one of the rarest sports games ever, as only 15,000 copies were made. Most people skipped it and went straight to three. However, 2 included some important changes, such as a new camera angle and updated graphics and rosters. 3 carried over 2's improvements and also added creative player and two new expansion teams, the Jacksonville Jaguars and Carolina Panthers. To many, this is the definitive version of Tecmo Super Bowl, but others may prefer the iconic NES version for one reason or another. While this was called the final edition, Tecmo Super Bowl was later released for PlayStation 1. In 13 years after 3 released, a DS version titled Tech Mobile Kickoff came out. The PlayStation version featured a player editor, the ability to trade players, edit attributes, change jersey numbers, a commentator, formations, difficulty settings, and alternative camera angles. This was the last version to include real NFL teams and players, so perhaps the final edition subtitle would have fit better here. The DS version was unlicensed but featured fully customizable teams and rosters, as well as online play and super abilities. It really wasn't that popular, likely due to the lack of an NFL license, thanks to EA's exclusive contract with the league, but it was another quality entry to the series. Tech Mobile Throwback was another unlicensed sequel that released on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network in 2010. The game featured 3D graphics as well as the original 2D graphics, which could be toggled at any time with a button press. With a player and team editor and online play, this was another solid entry. I haven't even touched on Tecmo's other sports games, but I'll save those for another video. While there are quite a few games in this series, if you need a starting point, I would recommend starting with the NES version of Tecmo Super Bowl. You cannot go wrong with an all-time classic. While Tecmo Bowl Throwback was the last official Tecmo Bowl game, the NES and SNES ROMs of the game have become some of the most modded of any retro game. Every year, the game's passionate fanbase creates updated rosters for the game, which you can download online and play on your computer. Instead of running around the defense with Bo Jackson, now you can knock players down with Derrick Henry or run around the defense with Saquon Barkley. The game has been updated every season for years, so if you have a special connection to, say, the 2007 New York Giants roster, you could find a 2007 roster mod of the game. Every 8-bit and 16-bit entry in the series has been modded, so no matter which game you prefer, you'll have success finding an updated version. There are even college mods for the game, adding college teams and rosters. There are websites dedicated to online Tech Mobile leagues, as well as real-life tournaments, with a 2016 tournament garnering over 100,000 live viewers on ESPN.com. Remember, this game is 30 years old. Tecmo Super Bowl inspired many future games and is a core part of many people's childhoods. Newer games such as the Mobile Retro Bowl or Legend Bowl are heavily inspired by this game, and if you want a spiritual successor to the original titles, you have to try these games out. Legend Bowl is a game I plan on reviewing soon as it's an incredible feat for a one-man dev team, King Havo, who also made the All-Pro Football 2K8 franchise mode add-on. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I have a Retro Bowl video planned as well. Tecmo Super Bowl is still widely known and loved today. 
Kia had a 2016 commercial featuring Bo Jackson that had a Tecmo Bowl theme, and the game is still commonly thrown into lists of the greatest video games of all time. For a 30-year-old sports game, that's real impact. The game at its core is simply really, really fun. Many would call it the greatest sports video game ever made. Some might call it the greatest video game ever made. While we haven't had a new release in the series in over 10 years, maybe the NFL will finally open up their license soon, like FIFA recently did, which would allow for a new Tecmo Super Bowl. If you haven't played the original yet, however, give it a try, and then check out what the game's awesome community has created. Thanks for watching.